Hey yo, what's up gang? We just opened up a bunch of packs, just lost the footage, but it is what it is. We were weighing out Paradox Rift. I opened up the lightest packs, which were 0.76 ounces. Got zero pulls out of that. It was only one pack. Then I opened up 10 packs that were 0.77 ounces. We got two pulls out of that. And that is when I noticed we lost the footage, but it's all good, baby, baby. It's all good. Uh, we are going to be opening up about 42 packs of the average weight of uh, Paradox Rift right now. Most of the packs came in at 0.78 ounces um, to 0.79 ounces. So we'll see what's good with that. Basically, we can say the light packs did not have anything. It was doo-doo. It was doo-doo. But we're going to put all this off to the side. Starting off. Boom. 22 packs total 0.78 ounces this whole fat stack right here is about to be opened up so we will see what we get so stay tuned let's go so we weighed out every single pack and the average weight was 0.78 to 0.79 so we'll see, does the average weight or does the heavier weight have the better uh, pulls? Ding, ding, sound. And I was just like, yo, what's good? Let me see what's good. And that's when it said, yo, your memory is not working right now. Reformat this card or whatever. So I did. Let's go. Tapu Coco. Let's go. First hit. So this weekend we got the CSC trade show coming uh, to Mississauga, Ontario, and I'm going to be there. I'm going to be hanging out with a few of my friends, just checking out some cards. I had these uh, ETBs laying around uh, for a while and I was like, yo, you know what? I better open up everything before I go to the trade show uh, just so I can bring some cards that Woo! Iron Hands, baby EX. I am nowhere near completing my master set. So uh, I basically need every single card at the moment. But if I get duplicates, I'm going to be definitely bringing them with me. And I posted on the Facebook group, basically looking for anybody that has some Obsidian Flames because I also need a few random reverse hollows from Obsidian Flames. So if they can uh, meet me at the trade show, then for sure I'm going to be trading with some locals. But yeah, if anybody um, is in uh, in Mississauga and wants to link up, just hit me up. Uh, you can leave it in the chat. Uh, I don't know if this video is going to be up, but for but for next trade show, I think they're doing it every month now, basically. But for the next trade show, just hit me up. We can definitely meet up there, uh, do some trading, and uh, just enjoy the enjoy the the convention together. I think for this convention, I'm going to be trying to do some uh, challenges, like a trade up challenge, like a dollar to wherever I can get it, take it to. Um, woo! Beach court, baby. Taking me to the beach right now. Give me some hot weather. So yeah, 151. I am also one card away. I am missing the Arbuck full art. And I contacted one of our local vendors, uh, a local card shop, Boomers Collectibles. He's going to be Woo Sandy Shocks EX. Let's go. But if you have been following me from the start, I have opened up so much 151. Like it's ridiculous. I had you, I think I had two UPCs. Um, that's where I weighed out the ETBs to see if, um, the heavier ETB had the better hits or if the lighter ETB had the better hits. Uh, so if you haven't watched that video, go watch that. But yeah, man, it's been a long road to completing 151. So, um, Finally, once we get that Arbuck in hand, that's going to be awesome. And I'll share that with everybody on the channel. Yeah, man. And also with Obsidian Flames, I think I have opened up. I've done so many challenges like the promo, 
versus the regular booster pack challenge the etb challenge um i have done so many challenges for obsidian flames still missing 10 um still missing 10 regular reversed hollows like bro come on man I log everything that I buy so that I know how much I've spent and the amount that I've spent on obsidian flames is way more than what a master set would have cost me if I just bought one off of somebody. So, you know, be warned, man. Sometimes you'll be buying things, ETBs. I still have one sealed. I'm looking at it right now. Charmander looking at me with those googly eyes. A booster box uh what else man i've gotten so many um booster like the singles so yeah man i, I definitely need to calculate how much i've spent on this the last video that i posted for paldean fates i went over that where you can just buy a near complete master set and then just buy the few missing cards and you'll have your completed master set and then you can just go flip it or sell it or keep it whatever you want And uh, after I bought the 10 ETBs, that's it. No more. No mas. Candle it. Uh, we are already in the hole for like a couple hundred bucks. And uh, we're going to spend a couple hundred more bucks to complete the master set. So Larry Wagwan looking all nice. And that. Oh, we got the Edison Pokeballs looking up. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Not selling your entire collection to buy another collection or something like that but man it's getting expensive i should do a video on how much i've spent on pokemon cards in the last four or five months as a kid you have cards but your parents always throw them out that's a typical story you know like i had i had the base that turned <laughs> my mama threw it out but uh yeah man those are all gone you ain't gonna see those again But yeah, I got back into this during 151 and um, really just like the original 151 was what made me want to start collecting again. And then I was like, yo, you know what? Let me open this up on stream for everybody. Got the second last pack here. So far, the average packs ain't doing us no justice. We got a few hits but definitely not where it's at i'm curious to see if the heavier packs will have the hits because there are only a few heavier packs and these average packs didn't do much we got the iron hands ex future card put that off to the side and that was it so let's do a tally to see what the ratio is 22 packs that we just opened up we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards, seven hits. So we had seven hits. That's 32%. Basically the same as just buying a regular ETB. ETB from the ETB pack battle video that we did, you get at least three hits out of nine packs. So kind of similar ratio. The average cards the average pack weight was 0 0.78 we got another 20 cards coming up so we'll do the ratio on that and see what's up